I know so many of you woke up this morning thinking we didn't have enough officials representing our interests in the EU. Well, you'll all be really glad to know that Ursula van der Leyen has created a new vice president for protecting our European way of life. Well, that's a big title for a role that we have no idea what it actually means. Who decides what the European way of life is? Who polices it? And what are the sanctions if you fail? Look at Malta at the moment. Now, this is a situation where Malta is dealing with a domestic problem. Daphne Galizia was killed in a car bomb attack two years ago. The officials, uh, one official from Joseph Muscat's administration has been arrested and charged with offences relating to that. And there was considerable pressure under Joseph Muscat to resign at the time. What he did after resisting for a few days was he said, I will resign at the point that my party has chosen a new leader. Well, all of that seems reasonable. Whatever you may think, Malta is undergoing the process of due process, which is what you expect from a democratically elected state and a member of the EU. So what authority whatsoever do MEPs have going over to Malta and effectively invigilating what's going on? The Maltese PM has said he's standing down. Why does an MEP, Sophie Interveld, come out and say that his date for resignation isn't good enough and in her opinion, he should resign today? Well, nobody elected Sophie Interveld to have a view on another nation state conduct. And I really object to this. The legality or the legal basis on which this is done, I think, is Article 7 of the Treaty of Amsterdam. And Article 7 effectively prevents a state from going rogue. And the Treaty of Amsterdam is one of the more recent treaties, and it was a treaty that was sort of looking at the Eastern European states being joined in as members. That's kind of the background to it. But Article 7 was threatened against Austria when it looked as though they were going to elect what they deemed to be an inappropriately far-right dictatorial leader. Well, you may think that the EU is a trading bloc. I've always known that since the Lisbon Treaty, the EU is punching well above its weight and thinks it is something akin to the United Nations, akin to NATO. It certainly believes it is now becoming a nation state. It almost looks like President Trump criticizing Kentucky for something they've done wrong. We are not a federal union of states. We are a trading bloc. And we should all be very worried that an MEP who has no mandate from the public on any foreign policy will go into a nation state of the EU under the auspices of Article 7 and give an opinion on an individual. The Council of Europe and the Commission can only comment on a state. They cannot comment on an individual. And I think that this is something you should be sharing with your Remainer friends who say that there is no problem with sovereignty within the EU because this very action of one or two MEPs strikes at the very heart of sovereignty of the nation state within the EU.